What is going on guys? My name is Alex. This is the video that you guys have all been waiting for. Today is August 3rd, meaning that Vegas Pro 18 has released. You can now get it through the link down in the description and it has a lot of features like 30 new fonts, the whole thing. We're gonna actually look into detail in depth on the computer, what features there are, which features are new. And of course, I'm gonna talk about these features and show you guys how to use them. So if you guys are excited for this brand new Vegas Pro release, make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the first time watching and i would say let's get started exploring vegas pro 18 of course right after the intro guys so as you can see right now we are on the vegas creative software a website where we can actually get the program and obviously like look in the new features so this is the first link you will find in the description down below if you want to get more information about this so if you scroll down for a little bit we can obviously see vegas pro 18 what's new features specifications product comparison and tutorials so we're going to click on the features button and right here we of course have a lot of new feature that vegas pro actually implemented into this version so when it comes to video stabilization right here planner motion tracking and nested timelines these were also included into vegas pro 17 there's nothing new about it they're obviously like improved a little bit but those are not necessarily like new features so right here we have the new ones which is actually a denoise filter reduce low light and other video noise to salvage grainy unclear video footage transform your noisy video into sharper cleaner and more usable footage with a denoise filter so if you click on there you will actually see what it does so this is the original clip and if you apply the video onto it it is actually reducing the noise especially when you're shooting at night because that's the big issues with a lot of cameras once the sun goes down and you start to shoot like darker footage of course you will have like a lot of noise into your screen so if you pay attention to that it will actually reduce the noise quite a bit that's a brand new feature in Vegas Pro 18 and of course to keep this video like relatively short I'm not going to cover I'm going to show you guys the features but I'm not going to like show you how to use them because I'm going to create separate videos for each feature which is going to explain a lot more in detail so right here we have also have the flicker control filter which is also new greatly reduce or even entirely remove video flickering caused by neon lights and other sources or use the flicker control filter to add video flicker as a special effect so once again we can click on there and we can actually see what it does so right here this is footage before and as you can see it's flickering quite a bit so if you apply this filter on it, it will actually remove the flickering and it makes it a lot more pleasing and enjoyable to watch so that's a really really cool feature itself so right here we also have the color grading panel we had in previous versions that we have now also improved for example like the color curves we also have special effects but guys all the other features of course are in vegas pro itself buckle up because right now i'm gonna start up vegas pro 18 and let's see what it looks like all right guys so this is the brand new boot up screen and this looks actually a lot tighter than vegas pro 17 so this first load up screen looks actually a lot harder to begin with so here it is this is vegas pro 18 and of course the ui the user interface didn't really change when it comes to like you know a, a different look or a different you know vibe because vegas pro 18 and vegas pro 17 and 16 they've always looked very very similar because they also just inserted new features and they didn't necessarily change like the entire layout so that essentially means that we still have the project video media tab right here the explorer the transitions the video effects the media generator the project notes so that's a really really cool thing that just everything is just the same and you're not forced to get used to like a new layout every time a new version releases what i do notice right off the bat is above the preview screen we right now have a new red icon which basically means that if you have a clip in your timeline let's for example say sample text let's just say you have a random frame from your video what you can now do is if you click on this disc at icon of course you can just you know create a thumbnail that way or take like a still image from your video like that way but right now what they also did is you can even open up a snapshot that you create in vegas image which is basically a software by vegas of course that you can also use to edit photos in everything like that a little bit more like photoshop but i think a little better in my opinion that's new definitely that you can just now open up these snapshots directly in vegas image all right so let's go ahead and start off with the tabs so the project media there is nothing there to see because you right here you will see all the media that's in included in your video of course the explorer is nothing new as well because you, this is just where you can insert footage but then if you go to transitions of course we have this brand new menu looking 
looking a little bit different than the previous versions. I'm not really too sure if they inserted that many new transitions because his magics nowadays works really, really close together with like plugin manufacturers such as like the new blue effects and the Boris effects plugin. So I don't think that they actually insert new stock ones. You can, for example, get like the Sapphire plugin uh, for free if you pick up Vegas Pro 18, for example, or like a certain bundle or a certain deal. So I think that's why they don't really insert new free standard ones. So of course, on the video effects tab, we have a couple new features and you can also find the features list on the website, of course. So the first thing that caught my eye is the colorization. So let's drag in, for example, a gradient color. Uh, for, let's pick this yellow the orange one and let's go back to the video effects tab now right here if you click on colorization if you drag on the default one i get this error which basically means that this plugin requires additional data please install the vegas ai bundle which you can download at vegascreativesoftware.com so guys please bear with me i don't have any like additional data installed because this is just the first time that i'm just you know exploring vegas pro so I, that's why i actually have to cover this in a separate video so i can prepare this topic and go in a lot more detail in that specific video about colorization and of course like i've showed you guys a couple minutes ago the denoise filter is right here there is no noise on this actual image so there's no point of dragging it on here but you guys have seen it what difference it makes you know a, a couple minutes ago in the introduction where i showed you guys what the denoise actually does another really really cool feature and another helpful as well because you get you guys can imagine how many comments i get from people on all kinds of vegas pro tutorials from vegas 13 all the way up to 17 asking how to reduce noise well this is how to do it well this is a method how you can do it make sure to stay tuned because i'll be dropping a video about the dean noise as well i think at the beginning of the next week because i already have my schedule planned for this week when it comes to vegas pro 18 so a really really cool feature that can actually save your footage that's shot at night are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level welcome to production crate Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. And what's also cool is that you can sort all your effects on like certain categories. For example, let's say color. You can also have your black and white in here, your brightness and contrast, your color correctors. If you go to utility right here, you have all your options when it comes to that one. You also have the blur ones, your Gaussian blur, motion blur, sharpen. You have light as well, which includes like light rays, a glow, a tint. 360 and also like third party so let's say that you don't want to scroll like down all the way you can just sort them in right here by clicking on these buttons which actually makes it a lot faster and gives you like that extra shortcut another thing that i noticed is if i go to the media generators tab for a second if i drag on the default one onto the timeline right here it says sample text and vegas actually included 30 new fonts now the reason that vegas pro doesn't include like 5,000 fonts like i actually downloaded myself out of a font pack years ago is because vegas pro probably has to buy the license of these actual fonts because believe it or not the fonts actually cost money one font can actually cost up to hundreds and hundreds of euros or dollars depending on like what your use is if it's for example like a commercial use a non-commercial use so i think that's why vegas pro includes like 30 fonts in it because like i said because like i said fonts can be expensive as hell and that's why people also tend to install for example like font packs that are free you can find them online but it's really really cool that they actually included these new fonts instead of having like always these basic ones so what's also new if I look at my second monitor for a second on the features list is if you press alt G on your keyboard these color panels will actually pop up and that basically means that you can just color grade you know for example separately with the gamma the gain the offset and the lift but they also improved the auto contrast skin tone line for a vector scope as well so a lot of features of course are implemented in this version on top of that as well what I would like to mention is when I wanted to export a video in Vegas Pro 18 I actually noticed something when I clicked on file so of course I would also go to render as but now I also saw instead of save as and regular save I now saw an incremental save and I thought like what the hell is that doing 
and I actually figured it out why you would actually use this. So incremental save is actually a feature that allows you to back up multiple projects of the same video. But I'm just going to go in detail on that topic as well in a different video. I think that one is for upcoming Friday. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And besides that, guys, this is just a really quick overview. And of course, all your render settings are also transported into Vegas 18 when it comes to like your presets from previous versions. It's really, really cool. So let's read a little bit more what the specs are because I showed you guys the basic ones and what, I, what caught my eye but let's just go ahead and actually read it what it says on the website. One of the new features is actually the new motion tracking panels, Vegas capture improvements, capture folder configuration. They have also a new audio encoder. They have HDR improvements, hardware encoding available for HDR presets. They have automatic selection of IDTs based on metadata. They have new plugins, style transfer available with the models installer. We have the flicker reducer, like you guys have seen, the black bar filler, the denoise, which you guys have also seen, the colorize that I will also cover in the next video and when it comes to like the color grading improvements we right now have a dockable color grading panel logarithmic exposure tool improved auto contrast skin tone line for vector scope combined rgb display 30 new fonts new presets and animations for titles and text optional trim handles for timeline events option is accessible in even hamburger menu defaulted to off the timeline cursor location stored saved with project files the plugin window is replacement video effects tab media generators transitions and compositors full range read render support and 8-bit projects like you guys have seen just a couple seconds ago the incremental save they have a new render progress dialogue exportable preferences video engine performance improvements gpu driver update utility automatic gpu configuration configuration for hardware acceleration and so and so and so much more guys so this is vegas pro 18 and if you guys are excited for this version make sure to check out the link down in the description learn more like a ton of new features are in this software i'm gonna cover them one by one i already have like two months worth of vegas content each week when it comes to like showing you guys the new features so keep an eye on your channel make sure you subscribe down below turn on notifications so you'll get a pop-up anytime a brand new vegas 18 tutorial goes live this is vegas pro 18 like covered really really quick but i'm going to show you guys it in detail in the next couple of weeks and months actually so guys that is vegas pro 18 so guys that is it for this video this is vegas pro 18 now if you would like to pick up this version make sure to check out the link down in the description because of course if you already have vegas pro 17 you can actually save a lot of money by upgrading to vegas pro 18 because vegas pro 18 has a lot of features that vegas pro 17 doesn't have so what are you waiting for check it out in the description guys thanks a lot for the continued support i'll see you guys of course in a brand new video tomorrow on the channel so i'll see you guys in the next one Thank you